In this video we're going to see how to draw solid, dashed, and dotted lines with Photoshop Elements. Hi, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. Let's go over to Elements and get started. First of all, I want to mention that there is a line tool in Photoshop Elements. It's located down in the Draw section of the toolbox, and it's one of the Shape tools. These are the Shape tools. If I click on that, and then go to the tool options, you can see all the different shapes that are available, and one of them is this line tool. I never use it unless I want to have an arrowhead on my line, which the line tool lets you do. Otherwise, I just use the brush tool because it allows me to draw lines that are just as good as the lines you get from the line tool. Plus, unlike the line tool, I can change some brush options to get dashed and dotted lines. So let's make the brush tool active by clicking on it in the toolbox. Next, let's go down to the tool options. If you're using a version of Photoshop Elements that's older than version 11, you'll find these same options at the top of your window in the options bar. Click on the brush preview. The brush preset picker pops up. Let's click on the field at the top and click on square brushes from the list. Now we get a list of all these different sized square brushes. I'm going to use the scroll bar on the right side of the window to scroll down until I see the 10 pixel brush, which is right here. And then I'll double click on it to choose that brush. Now let's place some guides on our document that we can use to draw our line perfectly horizontal and level. If you want to learn more about guides in Photoshop Elements, See my last video, which is titled, Find Exact Center. Okay, go up to the View menu and click on Rulers to make them visible. Next, pull three guides from the top ruler and just kind of space them out in the active image area. So I'll click and drag from the top ruler. And there's my first guide. I'll put it right there. And then I'll go back up to the top ruler click and drag down to place another ruler and I'll get one more from the or one more guide and then I'll go up to the ruler and get a third guide. One other thing that we'll check is also under the view menu. So let's look at that again and then hover your mouse over the snap to command and make sure that there's a check mark next to guides. Mine's already checked so I'm not going to click on it. That'll help to keep our lines right on the guidelines. Let's also pull two guides out from the side ruler. And don't be too particular about where you place these guides. We're just going to put one kind of on each end of our document here. Now that we have our guides, we can hide the rulers by going back up to the view menu and click on rulers to hide them again. And by the way, these are non-printing guides, which means that if you print out your document, they won't be visible on your print. We're ready to make our lines. You can use the brush tool and click and drag to draw a line freehand like this. You know, and wherever you want that line to be. I'm going to undo that by pressing Command-Z on a Mac, or it would be Control-Z on a PC. Or you can draw straight line segments by clicking once, then move your cursor to where you want that line segment to end. Hold down the shift key as you click a second time. Elements will create a straight line between the two points where you click. You'll see what I mean in a minute. This click shift click method is what I'm going to use for this video for the most part. Let's start with a solid line using the top horizontal guide. And we'll place our cursor right over the top and left guides right here, and then click once. Actually, let's undo that click so I can show you something else. Instead of placing the cursor right over where the guidelines cross each other, let's rest it along the edge of each guide and then click. So kind of just up in the corner of those two guidelines up here, and then I'll click once again. You can see that the location of my cursor is actually up and to the right of where the actual black mark is. That's the result of making sure that Snap to Guides was checked under the View menu. Let's undo that 
So Command or Control Z, and then unclick Snap to Guides again. Or uncheck it, I should say. Now let's place the cursor in that same spot as before, right up here, and click again. Notice that this time the black mark is laid down right where we clicked. That's how Snap to Guides is going to help us to draw our lines straight across the horizontal guides. It's going to kind of snap to that guide, even if we don't click right on it. So I'll turn it back on by clicking on it, on it and then I'll undo that last mark we made. So I'll turn Snap to Guides back on and then undo our last mark. Let's put our cursor over the first two guides and click once. Then move it over the top and right guides. So over here, and before you click, let's hold down the Shift key. Press and hold down the Shift key, and then click again. And now you can release the Shift key. Now we have a perfectly level and straight line. We can see what our line looks like without the guides, which can be distracting by temporarily hiding them. To do that, go up to the View menu and click on Guides. Now we just see our new line in the active image area. Let's go back up and turn on the visibility of our guides. And notice there's actually a keyboard shortcut we can use for that too, which is Command semicolon but I'm just going to click on it since I'm already here. Now let's make a dashed line. With the brush tool still active in the toolbox, go down to the tool options and click on brush settings. The brush settings dialog box pops up. To make dashed lines, we need to increase the spacing of our brush. So we'll click and drag to the right with the spacing slider. And to see the effect that this slider is having on our brush, watch the brush preview down here as we drag the slider over towards the right. You can see that it's starting to space out those brush marks. And let's bring it up to about 190. We can also use this dialog box to make our dashes rectangular instead of square like they are now. To do that, click and drag to the left on the roundness slider. And again, watch the brush preview to see the, the results. And let's bring it down to 50%. Then close the dialog box by clicking on brush settings again. One result of reducing the roundness of our brush is that it's only about half as high as it was before. To make our dashed line as thick as our solid line is, we need to increase the brush size. So let's go back to the tool options and use the size slider. You can see it's at 10 pixels right now. Let's change it from 10 pixels to 20 pixels. And now you can see it's about the same thickness as our first line that we made. Then we'll place the cursor right over the left and middle guides right here and click once. Then move it over to the middle and right guideline and hold down the shift key and click again and now we have a dashed line now let's make a dotted line go to the tool options brush preview to open the brush preset picker again so right here just click let's click on that and from the pop-up list let's choose basic brushes right up here the basic brushes are all round brushes of different sizes. The ones at the top of the list are all hard edge brushes, which is what we want. So let's use the scroll bar on the right side of the pop-up list to click and drag down until we see the 12 pixel brush. And there it is right there, so I'll double click on that to make it the active brush. Now let's click the brush settings again to set the spacing we'll make it 190 percent like we did the last time. Click on brush settings to close the pop-up. And we'll place our cursor over the bottom left guides and click. Then move it over to the bottom and right guides. Hold down the shift key and click again. And it connects those two points with a straight dotted line. Let's hide the guide so we can see our three lines better. 
Remember the shortcut to show and hide the guides is command or control semicolon. So that's one way to make solid, dashed, and dotted lines in Photoshop Elements. Now, of course, you can make lines other than just horizontal lines using this technique. For example, we could use this round brush and click once, and instead of going sideways, we could move our cursor down from there. So I'll turn on our um, guides again by pressing Command or Control semicolon. And I'll go up here on this uh, vertical guide on the left side and click once and then move it down to here and press the shift key and click again and we'd get a vertical dotted line that way or we could go in a diagonal direction you could click once here and then move it anywhere you want diagonally and hold down the shift key and click again and it makes a dotted line between those two points also remember that this click once, move the cursor, and shift click technique is for making straight lines, whether they be horizontal, vertical, or diagonal straight lines. In other words, you just define your start and end points by clicking and shift clicking, and Elements connects the two click points with a straight line. There's another way to draw a perfectly straight line with the brush tool. You press down the mouse button, but instead of releasing the mouse button right away or clicking with it, you continue to hold it down. And then you also press and continue to hold down the shift key as you drag the mouse. So let's do that. I'll press the mouse button, keep holding it down, and then press and hold the shift key and drag out my mouse over towards the right Watch my cursor, even if I go down here and then continue dragging, it'll keep that line perfectly straight. I'm going to release both the mouse button and the shift key now. And if you want a curved line, you just click and drag like we saw earlier to create a freehand line. So, you know, you can go wherever you want with it like that. So that's it for this video on how to draw solid, dashed, and dotted lines with Photoshop Elements. I hope you found this useful. Until next time, this is Rick saying take care.